Okay guys, here we have King Theoden close up. So for his base, as you can see here, I've used the Vallejo Thick Mud um, acrylic textured paint. And then I've applied some of this, which is literally dirt from a local forest. Um, and then I've applied that to give me a nice textured strewn up battlefield look. Then applied a few patches of static grass, just to give me some variation in lengths um, to the tufts I'm about to use and hopefully create a really nice looking battlefield with lots of different types of grass, different lengths, different colours uh, and a couple of flowers to break it all up. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, so here is a sample of some of the tufts that I'll be using. Um, it is Dead Grass by Paint Forge. Nice little clamshell blister style packaging. Um, even has instructions, self adhesive contact details are there if you'd like to get in touch. They're made in Poland, um, I had them sent out, and I've already done a test on this King Thaden here. Uh, base is a bit smaller than the horse one, so hopefully, we'll be able to achieve a nicer effect. But just to give you an idea of what we'll be going for. We're going to start off with the pale white flowers um, and I'm going to put that I'm going to go in under here just to give a nice focal point for King Theoden under the horse. The reason why I'm going for the white flowers is because they mark the grave of his ancestors um, and spoiler alert if you haven't seen the film he does die so I thought might as well go with uh, something that grows on his uh, ancestral tomb where he will no doubt get buried after his body is recovered in the film uh, and then I'm going to go in with the wild field green just add a bit of variation in colour I'm going to add two of these one on the other side as well just to add different colors and hues and then I'm going to go with the dead grass next which is a really pale kind of long grass so already you can see in just a couple of seconds I've added some variation to the miniature with different grasses and then finally I'm going to use I think it's called step it's a really long tuft of almost marsh grass um, and I want to get it right in underneath the horse here um, with these ones I would recommend using your fingers initially to pull them out because the length of the, the the grass is very long and I found the first one I pulled off with the tweezers um, kind of wrecked it a bit on the um, unmounted version so here we have King Theoden Lots of grass for Pelinor fields. You may or may not want to add in the white flowers. That's just something I did as a bit of um, bit of fun. And as we can see, I will take some stills in the light box. I'll clean up all the loose bits of static grass that do come, and I will zoom in quickly so you can have a closer look. There we have it. Um, Paint Forge self adhesive tufts. There's plenty out there on the market. These are ones I just wanted to buy, try them out, and see how they go. Uh, really impressed so far. And finally, a far off shot and get zoomed in. And there we have it. 
nice quick simple basin um, and once on mass with the rest of the cavalry uh, it should look pretty nice uh, in the rest of the army so thanks again for watching really quick uh, review slash how to on basing any questions drop me a message if you'd like to see me create this base from the beginning leave a comment and i can do that when i'm doing the rest of the riders of rohan thanks again for watching and see you soon